32 Sounds is a kind of meditation about sound built around 32 specific recordings of things. It's a wide range and eclectic list of things from the Foghorns of San Francisco, which is such a great and iconic sound, to the mating call of the Moho Bricatus, which is a bird that went extinct in the 80s, a Hawaiian bird. There's some sounds from a woman, a, sound, a composer and sound artist named Anea Lockwood. Several of the sounds connect to her. The more I learned about it, the more I realized sound is a way to talk about all sorts of big ideas. Things like time and time passing and ephemerality. I'm just one of many organisms that are listening with one another within this environment, not even to the environment, we're within it. One of the big challenges with this film is how do you make a film about sound and tour around to all kinds of theaters and have a consistent and consistently good sonic experience. So at some point, my producer Josh Penn said, I got an idea, you're gonna think it's terrible. What if everybody wears headphones? And I thought, wow, that's actually a great idea. It could be, we could make a consistently good sonic experience. This right here is the first modality, the collective experience of cinema. You know, somebody said, oh no, with the pandemic, movies became TV. And it's true, and it's not good for movies, I think. So I'm very happy to be making something that's not that, that you still have to go to a theater to see. You have to turn off your phone, you gotta buy a ticket. You have to really give yourself to the experience. This does have some audience participation, but I hope it's very gentle audience participation. It's like, close your eyes. You can just get up and walk around if you want. You know, those are not big no big deals, but I do think that that scrambles a little bit the way we experience a movie. So this is a five minute interlude. Feel free to get up, move around, feel the sounds in your whole body. Around this time, my younger brother had recently died. I was a mess. I kept saying, like, Sam, this is your life's work. Like, th this is like a conglomeration of like all these incredible films that you've made and people you've met. So I think like he says in the film, this is really a piece about him and his loss and his experience of sound with, within that, that life process. There's a way in which when you open your ears, you, you can experience a lot of pleasure. And you can also bring yourself into the present moment in a powerful way. So being open with your ears is, is a profound experience.